Hi Aries, so I will apologise that I didn't get the fire signs out last month, um, I was polar, uh, vertigo and all sorts, um, so I'm starting fresh and fire signs and earth signs will be my first ones that I do, so I do apologise for that. I am available for one-on-one -on -one readings again, if you would like to book, uh, that will be in my description box below with all my other links um, and any offers that I've got. So I'm going to be using my Empowerment Oracle deck that I designed for the actual Celtic and I'll be qualifying with the Guild of Tarot. So for Aries, September, Call of the Wild, it's time to feel free. Um, there could be some funky dreams going on. We do have the new moon um, in Virgo as well coming up in the next few days. Call of the Wild to me is about shamanic. It's about uh, being grounded, feeling safe and secure. You could also be linking with animal guards. Or feeling more connected to nature as well. Um, Call of the Wild is almost like I want to be free. It's a free spirit energy. So any challenges or blockages for Aries? The ruins. So the challenge is to leave the past in the past. And like kind of untame yourself. And go out and be who you want to be. Um, going for a more natural fresh start as well. So there's like rest and rejuvenation. The challenge is rest and rejuvenation. Because... It's almost like your soul is calling out to be a bit freer, a bit more wild. Why is this coming around now for Aries? Solar plexus. So it looks like you've got some decisions to make in your life. Um, listening to the solar plexus rather than this. Uh, the monkey brain gets us in trouble sometimes. With overthinking. So the recent past... We've got some kind of ungrounded energy with the root chakra. So the root chakra is a bit out of balance in the recent past. Something's come in and kind of like tipped the balance. Not feeling safe and secure within your own like surroundings or within yourself. Where to go. But at present we do have divine protection. So your spirit guides. And it is a quite a spiritual reading. Especially with the dream catcher there. Um, keep a journal at the side of your bed. A lot of my areas could be receiving guidance via... Um, visuals meditation dream work but we do have your guards at present staying close so we have letting go of heartbreak near future so we've got the moon lunar, lunar 13 so again i did pick up the moon um so new moons are about manifestation bringing in new the new what we really want um and full moons which we do have i think it's on the 21st in the uk um releasing anything that no longer serves us past heartbreaks no longer serve you some of my areas could have recently had some kind of information that's made them feel ungrounded feel you know unsafe some kind of like heartbreak energy um with the moon that there, there could be a Pisces involved in this as well um but it is about relinquishing the heartbreak letting go of heartbreak and getting yourself back grounded, yeah, letting go because your power, your your power is the need for balance. So as soon as she lets go of that scale, she can kind of chill chill out. So your power, you could be dealing with Libra. Your power is to restore balance back into your life again. The outside influence to that is the dark night of the soul. So some of my areas this could have, they could have been like you could be dipping into the dark night of the soul. You could have had a time, a period of like depression and feeling like isolated and a lot of people did in the lockdowns and things and a lot of people all over the world who are still going through these lockdowns uh but the dark night of the soul is like feel, feeling like there's no way out but your cards are really spiritual and there is a way out every lesson will bring a blessing but some of my areas are still amidst the lesson at the minute and not seeing the blessing within the lesson so hopes or fears, a leap of faith, yeah. So the fear is ca allowing um, people to carry on draining your energy, overgiving, people pleasing, that type of thing. But that your um, spirit guide's hope for you is that you have a leap of faith in yourself, open the new doors, you know, trust in the universe that new things are coming, better days are coming. So your outcome, empowerment wise, for the beginning of September, ooh, twin flames. 11 11 this could be a twin flame situation you know coming together breaking each other separating coming back together you know you could be seeing numbers though um i've literally just posted on my social media that i am being stopped by the number twos at the minute um so we've got 11 11 making wishes granted coming out of like, this drama karma situation going up to 
for the divine feminine divine masculine energy so whether this is a twin flame relationship coming back together or you evolving because twins do i don't like getting into the conversation of twin flames um because twin flames it's not as romantic as everyone thinks it is it's breaking because your twin will mirror back to you everything that you need to think fix within yourself and you will do that to that person so the twin flame journey can be quite narcissistic um to me it's more like learning from the drama the karma you know learning from the lessons and mo moving out of that aspect now it's time to move forward it's time to if you are a single aries it could be time to you know Put yourself out there in order to commit to somebody numbers could be highly significant with the 11 11 being there so don't just go off the twin flames um because that card means a lot to me um it means two people coming together it also means the rise the wake up of the divine feminine the divine masculine that's that we hold within us you know it's also about numerology as well it's all the aspects it's all the synchronicities of the world working together so i'm going to get some clarity on this for you so for Aries, give me some clarity. So call of the wild. Could have found yourself just free. Page of swords, yeah. So there could have been some like information that you didn't want to hear. Passes, uh, why am I saying passes? Someone could definitely be dealing with passes. I can't say that. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But the page of swords is like arguments. It could be tit for tat, that type of thing. Uh, it can also be competition. Um maybe you've been your own worst enemy with your thoughts so yeah the ten of wands um there's a situation that's like overly burdening you and i feel it's more like your own thoughts because i'm getting like head and gut arguing so the challenge is to leave the past in ruins and stop trying to rebuild something from the past yeah the challenge is to get out of the head the nine of swords anxiety depression sleepless nights overthinking maybe something's happened in the past and we really do need to let it go now so it could have happened way in the past it could have been years ago and the way we let go of that is by healing and realising where the lessons stood in that because whatever we hold within us poisons us, not them. And I really feel like that's a massive message. So the solar plexus, we've got the seven of swords. Yeah, so someone's de some something or some situation or someone has definitely been like draining your energy. The seven of swords is a lying, cheating, deception card. You, you know, it's sneaky behaviour. Um, your gut instinct has been telling you about this though. So there could be like trust issues going on. And we've got the two of wands. So it's, it's almost time now. It's like you're at a T-junction. So this deception could have happened in the past, take it as it resonates, so it could be happening now. But your path is opening up into new directions. We just need to kind of like let go of whatever it is that's holding you back from taking this leap forward. So the root chakra in the past being unbalanced, yeah. So we've got the three of swords. So there is heartbreak around my areas in the past and the page of pentacles. So you could have been told about this, uh, you could have seen some kind of communication, but the truth has come out. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, could have been dealing with uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in the past as well. Or someone could have been uh, being sly with finances or another woman. Um, let's have a look. The Eight of Cups. So you have moved on from that onto new adventures, but for some reason, the emotional cups that are spilled in this cycle are still here. Um, almost like you need to kind of sit with it and see how it's affecting you. So Divine Protection at present. The Hierophant, divinely guided. So there is, it is a quite a spiritual reading for Aries. I'm not going to lie. You usually it's uh, quite 3D when I'm talking to Aries. Um, but the divinely protected card and the Hierophant on top of each other. You are protected whilst you follow your pursuits of happiness. Now it's time to put yourself first. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. So there could have been like an upgrade on the Eight Eight on the Lion's Gate. So you could have like manifested something new coming in to heal from the past. A lot of things could be starting to happen at once now. Page of Cups. Oh, there's new offers coming in. So it could be a new person or a new offer coming in. The Ace of Cups because you deserve divine love. Eyes wide open, seeing things for exactly how they are. And definitely the lunar cycles. So again, we've got the new moon coming up. This falls on top of the moon card. Um... We've got the new moon coming up and we've got the full moon going towards the end of September. So I'll have enough reading out by then anyway. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Ace of Pentacles. So you've got two aces in your near future. So especially overcoming heartbreak. 
Um, you could be pulling in a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. But it's about feeling safe and secure, loving yourself enough to make your own wishes granted. The Nine of Cups. We are in the ninth month. And no, there is um, a significant energy update on the ninth of the noun, which can bring actual twin flames together. So you could be on that um, energy line. Yeah, just this. Karmic justice. Uh, there could be some contracts. Some of my areas could be signing new contracts around uh, September, October, which does bring balance into situations. You could be dealing with Libra. Uh, you could be going towards Libra season, September, October. So it could be an offer of job or an offer of love now. So they're telling you to kind of chase this, to go for it, to take a leap of faith in this new offer. Your power is the need for balance. And the two of swords, take the blindfold off. Sometimes we need to rip it off and it hurts, but... There's a blessing in it. You can let your guard down a little bit now. So you've been very guarded in the past due to heartbreaks being let down. But you can open up now. The outside influence starting out of the soul. We've got the Empress in reverse. So the Empress in reverse, a time of stagnancy. It could have been a third party in the past. Uh, this energy could still be hurting you in some way. We have got the Queen of Swords just warning you there could be someone bitter around you. And the Five of Pentacles, you could have blocked this person, could have blocked this person out. You could be co-parenting with this person as well. We have got the Death card, so this situation is going to transform Scorpio energy there. Um, again, it's about the, the ending of this, it's about letting it go. We've got the Moon again, so some kind of illusions are going to be seen, or you're already seeing these illusions, releasing any fears that are holding you back, but the Moon sheds light on the darkest of any, any situation, so there could be some information coming forward that kind of frees you from the past so this leap of faith is the knight of wands so it's to get motivated it's to get ambitious it's to go out there and get that fire in your belly and chase what you want and we've got the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy aries that are chasing money it looks really good um we've got the devil in reverse so we're coming out of toxic ways once you be your toxic force it's almost like you start manifesting instantly then we've got the 11 11 the twin flames Sorry, I thought we had a card fall over then. Five cups in reverse, no regrets. So it's almost like at the minute you could still be in the healing stage over someone who you thought was your two of cups, but you start, look, he's crying over spilt milk because he's not realised that the two of cups is directly behind him. Crying over, like, past heartbreaks. No regrets, no looking back because you're on your way to finding your two of cups. We've got the king of wands. So that's you and your masculine energy. Could be dealing with another fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But the King of Wands is very motivated. He is very like ambitious. And the High Priestess, intuition on key. Um, there could be some secrets or information coming from yeah, the world. So the universe could be putting these like this information towards you. You have got your guards like really strong at the minute. The world is putting yourself back on a pedestal. It's the ending of a cycle, the start of a new cycle. You literally like ending one cycle and starting a new. The world is time to put itself, like, kind of put yourself out there. Uh, some of my areas, I will say, if you're starting an online business, it, it does look very fruitful. The magician. Aries to me. Some readers don't, but Aries uh, is the magician to me. Alchemy, manifestation, getting what you really want. The emperor, control. Taking control back of your own life in order to like manifest what you want because three of cups, you deserve happiness, you deserve celebrations, or you deserve the two of cups. There's the two of cups that I was just talking about. So these past because two, I can want to say 2022 is going to be the number of love. It's going to be the year of love because it resonates on the six and six is a vibration of love. Um, and we've got the six of swords there. It's about learning from the past. She's taking all her lessons with her because she ain't going back over them. Going from storm waters to smooth waters and moving on to better things. You're moving on to something. There's definitely a collaboration. Could be in partnership, could be in work. Take it as it resonates. But there's dates or there's some kind of celebrations or meetings to come together. I do see contracts. It could be sole contracts if it's a relationship, partnership. Um, and it could be contracts if it's to do with work. But it does look very fruitful. It looks like you're manifesting this. So I shall leave you with that and I'll be back soon. I will be doing the, the actual love reads next week. Okay, bye.